It's like Periscope on a planetary scale. A new company announced plans on creating what essentially amounts to an on-demand planetary live streaming service, basically making almost everywhere filmable. According to the Wall Street Journal, startup EarthNow plans to create a constellation of 500 half-ton satellites that will be launched in phases. Their goal, providing real-time footage from any point on Earth. And to do that, it'll need to crack both software and hardware headaches of space-based real-time video processing and transmission. Airbus, an investor in the company, will develop the satellites. EarthNow says these will use an upgraded version of the OneWeb microsatellite platform. A press release says each satellite has unprecedented levels of processing power and more CPU than any other commercial satellites. And while their goal sounds lofty, their backers include the likes of the aforementioned Airbus, Microsoft founder Bill Gates, and SoftBank. The company says the constellation will be used to monitor many areas, including conflict zones, evolving storms, volcanic eruptions, and illegal fishing. EarthNow also reckons the constellation could also be used to help media tell stories for crop health evaluation, whale tracking, and creating instant 3D models of towns or cities. EarthNow says the satellites use machine learning to adapt and interpret what they're observing in real time. Users will be able to see things such as buildings in towns and cities, road traffic, ships at sea, forest fires, and space debris burning up in the atmosphere. Addressing the obvious security and privacy concerns that such a system carries, the company says it will hire a chief privacy officer and will respect societal privacy. Their website says they will be compliant with all laws and jurisdictions in which they operate and will work with the public and governments to address privacy concerns. But different governments have differing interpretations of what an individual's privacy entails. There are so, so many. Zombie satellite found by amateur stargazer. A zombie was found in space last weekend. A zombie satellite, that is. Scott Tilly received a signal from a spacecraft number 2000-017A-26113. That's NASA's missing image satellite. After being launched in 2000 by the space agency, the satellite was thought to be long gone after scientists lost contact with it in 2005. The satellite was sent into space to investigate Earth's magnetosphere. The space around our planet controlled by our planetary magnetic field. NASA is now reportedly working around the clock with old software in a bid to communicate with the zombie satellite. Maybe John Constantine can help. Space Junk Collector Reaches International Space Station It's about time we start cleaning up our space garbage. A spacecraft designed to collect space garbage made by several companies in conjunction with the European Space Agency, has arrived at the International Space Station. The removed debris satellite weighs 100 kilograms and is equipped with a 30 centimeter long harpoon that can be shot towards space debris in order to push it away from functioning satellites. It also has a net that can be launched towards objects. After wrapping around the debris, the net can then be cut loose to burn up while re-entering the Earth's atmosphere. After being deployed from the ISS, the satellite will first conduct preliminary tests with CubeSats acting as space fragments. Researchers are expected to start testing the spacecraft within the next few weeks. SpaceX plans to launch thousands of internet satellites. SpaceX has filed an application with the U.S. Federal Communications Commission to launch thousands of satellites in order to provide high-speed internet coverage worldwide. SpaceX's satellite system consists of two sub-constellations of space stations. The first, known as the LEO constellation, would be comprised of 4,425 satellites in an orbit of at least 1,150 kilometers above the Earth. Each satellite can provide service up to 43.95 degrees away from boresight. The second, VLEO constellation, would include 7,518 satellites orbiting about 335.9 kilometers above the Earth. Each satellite can provide service of up to 51.09 degrees from boresight. The satellites in the LEO constellation can cover approximately 4.5 million square kilometers, while those in the VLEO constellation can cover less than one-tenth of that area. The system is designed to provide broadband and communication services for private and professional users worldwide. The deployment of the satellites is expected to begin in 2019 and be completed by 2024. Broadband in space. One day your internet might come from space. In late February 2018, 
SpaceX launched the PAZ radar imaging satellite for a Spanish government satellite operator. Also on board were two of their demo satellites, dubbed Microsat 2A and Microsat 2B. SpaceX chief Elon Musk called them Tintin A and B in a tweet. Those are part of the company's planned Starlink broadband satellite network. Reportedly, that will comprise a mesh network of around 12,000 satellites orbiting the Earth. This would provide internet to regions needing it the most. However, it could also put SpaceX in competition with telecom companies. And who knows, maybe SpaceX will also offer a free Mars trip via Tesla Roadster. NASA begins search for more Earth-like planets. NASA's new satellite is looking for Earth's doppelganger, and not the transdimensional kind. Planets orbiting other stars are termed exoplanets. The term applies to planets of all sizes from Earth and Mars to Jupiter. NASA's new spacecraft will search exoplanets outside our solar system. Called the Transitioning Exoplanet Survey Satellite, the spacecraft will look for planets which transit in front of a star, causing a dip in its brightness. Repeats of this pattern may indicate a habitable planet supporting life. NASA says the mission will cover an area 400 times greater than observed by the Kepler Space Telescope. Tests will look at 26 different sectors of space over a two-year period. According to the Space Agency, tests will observe stars up to 100 times brighter than previously covered.